Okay, so. Okay, a little side note. I'm editing this and I'm realizing that I'm kind of swallowing the mic. Uh, <laughs> um, um, sorry, sorry about that. It happens for like the whole video. So, yeah, I, I would voice it over again, but no, I don't want to. En enjoy the video. Okay, so clearly you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to do the Spider-Man webs. You know, the webs like this and like this. I'm unlike you know, unlike this. So so basically webs. You know, but Spider-Man's web. Get on with you, boy! Okay, so what you want to do is, you want to have like the latest version of Blender, but I don't use this. It's still a bit finicky. So what you want to do is, you want to get 4.1. Okay, little, little voiceover. Okay, okay, now I'm literally just making like a... I, I basically just imported this model. I'm just making a rig. I'm not going to go through how I did this, but it, if you want to know, just watch this or slow it down. Um, but this is just so I could make an animation, like a quick animation. I don't know why I did this, but anyway, yeah, I, I guess I guess it's useful for people who want to know how to make a rig. But this is an add-on. That this is auto rig, so so like you can't just make this. Like it's not like a thing you can just do. You need to get the add-on. It's auto rig pro, so like so like I think you gotta pay for it. I think, but yeah. I'm kind of posing up with the Okay, I'm onto the animation part right now, I think. I can't remember. But I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm actually looking at the footage now as it's like going past. This is like the worst tutorial ever. Like, I have, like, what? Like, I think I'm like, just two minutes in and I still haven't made it work yet. This is like the worst, like, this is the worst tutorial. Okay, now you've got this really goofy animation set up, you know, you can animate however you however you like. So, what you want to do is, you want to get a, um, you want to shift and right click. And so, the, 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 the cursor right here. And then what you want to do is, is you want to shift, shift A, mesh, plane. You want to add a plane in. And press tab to go into edit mode. You want to click one vert, control I. Press delete, delete vert, and then you're left with this one. Make sure you keep an eye on this. Shift S, selection to cursor. Boom, there it is. Press E to extrude the vert out. Then what you want to do is you want to grab the other end, and then you want to subdivide this. Grab one end, you want to control H, hook to new object. Press that one, control H, hook to new object. Then what you want to do is you want to grab both ends. You want to go here into the data properties part thing in the tool part thing. And then you want to press plus and then you want to rename this, call it pin. <clears throat> pin. Don't mind that. And then you want to press a sign. Now these are a sign now. You want to grab this. And you want to head over to the physics at a clot sim. You see the way it's going down? It's because you need to go all the way to where it, sa where it says shape. Click shape. Where it says pin group, you want to click pin. And now it should work. See? That is literally how you make a web simulation. But I bet everyone's asking, how do you attach it to the wrist? You want to go into the constraints tab. You want to add a child of constraint. You want to go to the rig then you want to go to the hand okay so i sped this up because i hit a bit of a stupid problem because i'm a bit of a fool you know um, basically um after you've gotten the bone you basically just click set inverse and it should just connect to the bone that you've selected if it doesn't do this then just literally look at what i'm doing in this sped up video part of the video thing and you should really that, that's that's the fix that's the fix like, all you need to do is put the cursor back on the wrist, control S, selection to cursor, and it should should fix. That's that's really it. But anyway. To make the web thick, because right now it's not thick, it's just nothing. If I do this, you can't see the web. What you want to do is, you want to go into the modifiers. You want to add a screw. So add a screw. It's really big. So you want to add like 0.02. 
And you want to add another modifier, solidify. This makes the web half thickness. Yeah, another nice voiceover, better mic moment. Okay, so the, the rest of this is literally just me tracking the other side. You know, you know the hook, the other hook on the other side to the wrist. So it gives that, you know, the effect that it's shooting out of his wrist. Literally, that is it. That 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 is that's it. That's all you've got to do. You see? Look at the, like look at the screen. That's, that's it. That's that's all you've got to do. It's that quick. It's that easy. I bet, I bet you didn't think it was that easy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that simple, yeah. Anyway, back to the really bad quality mic. Now you've got this really like janky whip and it's all like bendy and stuff. To fix that, the solution is to go into the physics properties once again. If you see the shrinking factor, it's at zero, which means it like acts as much as cloth can act. So to fix that, you wanna just press that, you wanna keyframe it and bring it all the way up to one. Boom, it's stiff. See, it's stiff. You don't want it to be that stiff, you just press the keyframe, and then you bring it down to, I say, about eight something, and then bring it back to one once you shot the web. Now is the biggest part. You want to go into cache, where it says end, put that at how many frames it ends up, so, and you want to bake the animation. Baking doesn't take this long, by the way, you know, baking the animation. I just really wanted to use some baking stock footage, so I took the opportunity. I'm gonna get some cookies. You see? That is literally how you do it. As you can see, the web is still there before he even shoots the web out. What I do is, is that I go into the object, visibility. You see these two, show in the viewport and show in renders. I turn that off in my animations. Before here, literally just press these off. Okay, I'm gonna voice this over now because the rest of the video is a giant yap fest. Like, I just yap. I don't know, even, I don't even know what it's about. I just yap. So, congratulations, you just made the web animation Sim simulation thing. Now you can add them into your Spider Man animation so Spider Man doesn't look like he's just floating around swinging from nothing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want any more tutorials or any videos at all, comment them down below. I did see the community post. Um, and I will be taking some of those comments and using them for video ideas. So, you know, thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.